Well, my first reaction was that I was dreaming. It couldn't possibly be true. I didn't quite know what I was getting a Nobel Prize for. But then gradually it dawned upon me that people kept saying, I've got a Nobel, I've got a, I've got a Nobel Prize, so I guess I have to accept it. So uh, I appear as I have a Nobel Prize. So that's great. I think I was reading a paper or something and uh, I didn't believe it was true and uh, I was quite surprised when the call came through and uh, I wasn't expecting this. I mean, this is something which I did many years ago and uh, so I was quite surprised uh, and so I'm still surprised now. <laughs> I got a few prizes, but I never expected to get a Nobel Prize. No, I think obviously uh, we would rather have no global warming and no, no no Nobel Prize. Of course, the best thing is to have no global warming and global prize. We have to help people to wake up to recognize the fact that we are experiencing climate change and it's occurring on a time scale that we're not used to responding to. We're used to responding to things that happen on the one or two or three years time scale. But we have a problem here as uh, acting on the decadal time scales and uh, the, the climate society or the uh, 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 human society has to get used to the fact that we have long term problems that we need a long term uh, climate policy. So I hope that uh, sooner or later people will wake up and realize that they have to do something before it's too late. But to get the policymakers to actually to do something, and so the public to be concerned about doing something was something which was difficult for us as scientists to get across because the people are not used to looking at long time scales. And I think that has been our problem from the very beginning. And it's still a problem now that, uh, that people tend to deny the problem until it's too late. I think we're both modelers and we both enjoy trying to understand the climate problem and we have both strong interactions with the public and, and with other colleagues. So uh, I think uh, I have a very high respect for Manaba and uh, I think the way he did his work was uh, really uh, inspirational also for myself. <laughs>